Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation. And on the first side this is like very easy equation, we have axis on the left hand side, we already grouped this on the left hand side, we have a constant on the right hand side, so we can easily find our x. But thing in another world, through so here we have like a x in a base, a x in our exponent, so it's a little bit difficult for us to solve it like in one or two lines, because we have like x in our base, x in our exponent, and it's really hard to figure out how can we how can we solve this question. So in this video I'm going to show you two best tricks how can we solve it and you can easily solve it like in, in seven lines real quick and we will find our answer. And of course you can pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, you can easily maybe solve it by inspection if you're able to do this, you can easily write your thought into the comment section, your solution, I'm really interested as well to read about it. Okay, x to the power x equal to 5. Constant on the right hand side, only over 5, so let's leave it right here, but let's look at it on the on the left hand side. We have a power, and from school it's really great to know about uh, natural log. Oh, only log, like wherever you want, so I apply natural log on both sides. So we have natural log right here, so we have natural log of x to the power x equal to natural log 5. Okay, it is our first step, we just change nothing because we apply it on both sides, on the left and on the right hand side, it's really great. But why I do this? Because right here we have this x uh, and natural log x, so this x jumps right here. And it's, it's really great for us because right here we have a product, we don't have any power, so we have like x times natural log x equal to natural log 5. Okay, natural log 5. Okay, I write this rule right here, I want you to understand the whole solution, so we have like, if you have natural log a to the power b, it is equal to b times natural log a. Okay, this is really like important rule, and this is like the first trick I want you to know, and let's go to the second trick. Okay, in this line we have x times natural log x equal to 5. Uh, we need to know about lambert w function, we cannot solve it in an easy way, because we have x right here and x in our natural log which is maybe difficult for us because we, we can we can't solve it like that in easy in easy way we have natural log x right here x and x as a product so it's really hard but if you know a little bit about lambert w function you can easily solve it but a lot of students find difficulties with this lambert w function and i want you to understand this function real quick so saying in in simple words just imagine you have like expression something like that you have a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have this expression, okay? And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, this is equal to a. And where a is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter. You need to have e and the same expression. This is, uh, it means that you need to have the same expression right here and right here. Whatever you want expression, doesn't matter, whatever, how the question looks like, I don't know exactly what is the expression, but we are going to solve it and we will find this expression right here. So maybe square root, maybe sine, cosine, doesn't matter. A, we need, you need to have e and the same expression. So I hope you understand this second really important trick in our solution. Okay, let's go back to our question. As I told before, we need to create the same expression, a and a right here, and we need to have e. Of course we created this function on the left hand side, because on the right hand side we didn't have any, any axis, we have only constant, and it's hard to create lambda w function with only a constant. So let's look at on the left hand side. First of all, you need to create e right here. So we have natural log x, this is not good expression to create e, but with our x we can easily write this x as e to the power natural log x. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, because this is absolutely the same, so you can easily change this x by e to the power natural log x. Okay, okay, let's go to the next step. Uh, times natural log x right here, of course natural log x equal to natural log 5, natural log 5. Okay, so right here we have this expression, and right now I suggest you to look at this uh, Lambert W function, we have a and e to the power a, we have e, we have e, and look at it, we have the same expression right here and right here, so it looks like this is our a, this is our a as well, but in, in different order, yeah, we just need to change an order a little bit, let's do this. So we have natural log x, and we have times e to the power natural log x, which is equal to natural log, natural log 5. 
Okay, so right here, you can easily apply lambda w function because we have this the same expression, we have this the same expression, and right now we can easily apply it. And what was as well, we have we have e right here. So let's apply lambda w function from the left hand side, and you need to apply lambda w function, of course, on the right hand side. We just need nothing change for us because we need to do this on both sides. Okay. We just did it. And right now, lambda w function from this expression equal to a. In our case, a equal to nature log x, whatever you want, this one, this one, absolutely the same. So we have nature log, nature log x we have on the on the left hand side, equal to lambda w function of the right hand side of nature log 5. On the right hand side, we have really great expression because this is a constant, doesn't matter for us, maybe complicated, not complicated, maybe decimal approximation, but we have a constant. So we need to leave it right here on the on the right hand side. This is a constant and lambda w function from the constant. This is a constant as well. So it's really great right hand side. On the left, on the right hand, on the left hand side, we have a nature log x. But in our question, we need our x. How can we do this? Really, really interesting tricks. I want you to understand this trick. We just create base of E on both sides base of e of the left hand side nature log x equal to base of e of the lambda w function of nature log nature log 5 okay okay this is really great trick because uh, right here uh, you can easily cancel this nature log e uh, nature log and e and as a result you will have only our x i write right here so we have only our x because right here, as I told before, we have e and nature log x. This is absolutely the same as x, as I told before. Okay, equal to, and this expression, e to the power lambda w function. So we have e to the power lambda w function of nature log, nature log 5. Okay, this is your exam solution. If you have this question in your exam, in your school, this is solution for you. But uh, I, I think you're not able to find the exact value on your calculator right here uh, on your exam because you don't allow to, to use your calculator. But this is like a final solution for you if you're on your exam. This is like constant on the left, on the right hand side. You cannot solve it without calculator. But I solve it for you if you're interested in the solution. So X is approximately equal to 2.129. This is our solution if we are talking about approximate answer, but in your exam, this is a great to write it like that. If you're able to find the exact value of this lambda w function in your exam, you can easily approximate this answer, but uh, it's not like a two or three, we have a decimal answer. So um, this is nothing bad if you, if you don't know about this approximation on your exam, but a correct answer is if this one. So I hope you understand my solution. I hope you you understand my thoughts ab about this solution. I hope you understand about Lambert W function, which is which is really great for for student to know about this function. So real quick, nature log on both sides and Lambert W function in a classic way because right here we don't have any any special cases. This is like Lambert W function case. Okay, thank you for your time and have a great day. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you still have any question, write a question into the comment section. I try to help everyone. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.